So, welcome to Travel Lake Superior. My name is J.P. Fraser, and today we are at Lake Superior Art Gallery with James Stevens, a regional artist, our author, a regional author for the past uh, almost 50 years he's been writing books. Today, James is going to be talking to us about Angelique Abandon, a wonderful story about a native woman abandoned on Isle Royal in Lake Superior. James, welcome. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Back in 2010, 2011, you wrote Angelique Abandon. What type of book is it? It's a book, uh, it's a novella, and uh, it's a fictional book based on a true story of a Métis girl that was abandoned on Isle Royal in 1845. Where's Isle Royal? Isle Royal is actually just um, 30 miles or so off the uh, coast of uh, Thunder Bay. And uh, it's part of the state of Michigan. Um, and uh, historically, uh, it um, was an old uh, copper site. Okay. So, and it's, uh, it's now a national park, isn't it? It's now a national park in the uh, United States Park Service. Okay. I'm not sure what year that happened, but um, it, uh, it uh, was long mined for copper by Aboriginal people. Oh. And in 1845, Angelique and her husband went out there with some uh, prospectors from Michigan in an attempt to find copper. And uh, in the consequence of things, uh, Angelique and her husband were left there with, for the winter with really no provisions to survive the winter. They were abandoned there? They were abandoned there. Um, the uh, copper prospectors were supposed to come back and pick them up, but that did not happen. So they had to uh, survive during the winter, and the Angelique book is the story of uh, Angelique uh, survival during the winter. She was only 17 years old. Uh, her survival, what happened to her husband? He starved to death during the winter, so she was there by herself with the uh, body. And um, she didn't get picked up until the following spring. And um, she didn't even have a, a gun or a musket or anything. And um, so without telling everybody what the details of the story are, uh, it's really a survival story of a young woman left on an island in Lake Superior. Now, couldn't she have just, uh, once the lake froze over, walked ashore? Well, that's the problem. Uh, as we all know, Lake Superior most often does not freeze over. So there was no way to get off the island in the wintertime. So, would the closest community have been Grand Marie, Minnesota? Well, in 1845, um, I'm not sure that there even was a Grand Marie, Minnesota. Um, the closest place uh, was uh, Madeline Island, which is uh, down in the Apostle Island groups. And um, so there was no way for her to escape. How far are the Apostle Islands, Madeline Island, from our, our Royal? Well, I would just uh, guesstimate that they're probably about 75 or 80 miles away. So there's there was no way for her to get there um, in, during the winter. And um, the real uh, challenge facing uh, Angelique was how to survive with you know, basically no provisions and living off the land. And she had no guns. Did she have anything at all to be able to uh, kill animals to feed herself? Well, she had, um, she had a knife and some pots and, um, and her uh, own uh, 
pluckiness, if you will, on how to survive. And uh, one of the ways she did that was she cut off her hair and braided rabbit snares so that she was able to catch rabbits during the winter to uh, live on. She braided her hair to make a rabbit snare. That is pretty darn amazing. Pretty has to impress a large amount of ingenuity on her part. Absolutely. Uh, I think that um, one of the large appeals of the uh, Angelique book you know, is um, a young woman's survival in really difficult times. And the book, by the way, is uh, being scripted for a full-length movie by Thunderstone Pictures and Circle Blue Pictures out of Toronto. Are they? That's great. Well, if I remember serves me correctly, this is the second uh, printing of this book, is it not? Yeah, that's correct. So it's certainly, uh, and what type of book do you call this again? Well, you call it a novella because even though uh, much of the book is factual, there is a creative process to really bring the story alive. And um, so it gets classified as a, a fiction book. Just uh, amazing, Jim. Thank you very much for coming in and spending some time with us. My pleasure. Thank you very much. My name is J.P. Fraser for Travel Lake Superior.